What's up, everybody? Let's see if we get some people up in here today live on YouTube. Got a lot to talk about, a lot of things to discuss, including the fact that YouTube doesn't allow me to connect with my camera for some reason. So I have to go through StreamYard, but we'll we'll get it figured out eventually. Anyway, waiting to see if some people come in. I see a couple people popping in. You know, some people get mad when we do these lives. They're like, I clicked on for this and I clicked on for that. But really, man, when we do the lives, it's so we can all kick it. Talk about what's going on in the world, share some things, talk to some people, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, I start to see people come in. Catrice, hello. Glad to see you in here. The one and only Derek. See you in here, Derek Jungle J, Kevin Grimms. Give everybody a shout out tonight, right? Tyler, man, where you been at, bro? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're living your best life. Ski Studios always in the house. Always good to have you. What's up, Chad Bryan from London, Canada, saying, hey, what's up, Steve Franco? What's up, everyone? Yeah, so tonight, man, we're going to talk about a bunch of different stuff, you know. One of the things when I was in prison, man, people were glued to the TV, especially when the whole Trump debates were going on. You know, we all thought it was kind of like a joke, sitting around watching a comedy show. And then what happens? He becomes the, the president. He ends up winning, right? We're like, holy sh... But he used to talk shit to everybody, so... The big Trump trial, right? What do you guys think is going to happen over there? We'll talk about Chicago. Man, I mean, the Chicago thing is just absolutely, absolutely off the chain, man. What do you do? What do you do in a world like this? I know a lot of us have been to prison, but what do you do in a world is just so, I mean, what, what do you say? It's so effed up, right? Um, We also did a bunch of, um, you know, I did a bunch of them documentaries. I guess they don't really hit like that, even though I was hoping that they would. But still got some more if you guys still want them or do you guys like the interviews. Got a real good interview that we did yesterday. We're going to put it out Tuesday night. I'll probably do a couple little shorts on it. Um, brother was part of, you know, doing his thing through Silk Road. So we'll have that brother on. Um, Nine-year-old girl killed, right, in Chicago, man. How crazy, right? Why don't people – all right, Zach, we play a lot of games, but we don't play the Chadwick game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just joking. I used to hate people calling me. That's not my name. My wife does it to me every once in a while just to mess with me. Mr. Silas, I see you in here in the well country. How'd you make out with YouTube? I'll hit you up and let you know. I ended up talking to the lady on YouTube. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens, but we'll, we'll see. She gave me a bunch of pointers, a bunch of tips. I think we can leave the, the name on the channel still the way that, way that it is. But let's talk a little bit about the world, man, how crazy it is, right? The Trump stuff that's going on. What do you guys think about Trump? Does he get convicted? How bad does it go in New York for him? Do they acquit him? If they convict him, is he still on the, you know, is he still on the ballot? Can he still run for president? Will he run for president? What do you guys think? That's not my name. That's right. That's right. Um, Got the reentry house, man, popping off tomorrow. Got the construction crew coming in. Big shout out to my buddy Ben, man. Thank you, Ben, once again. I always thank Ben, man. Without Ben, this wouldn't even be possible. Derek says Trump is effed. I don't know, man. The white Denzel back in the house with his wrench. It's always good to see the white Denzel, man. You know, whenever we need to fire things up, we should holler at the white Denzel. Like, yo, bro, come in here and start some shit and get some stuff fired up tonight. I'm just joking. Damon Iris, I think once a political party legally goes after an opponent, we officially live in a banana republic. That's the problem, man. People put politics over people. They've been doing it for a long time, man. James says President Trump is a saint. I know one thing. If he didn't do that first step back, boy, I wouldn't be here on YouTube with you tonight with this fresh Bills hat, huh? How you like that red with the, the red buffalo on there on the all white? Huh? On the all white fitted. We're going to have a good time tonight. I don't want people to think I'm drunk, man. I'm really I'm really not, man. I'm drinking water. Um, sometimes we get out here, we goof around, we have a good time. That's what it's about, right? We catering to blue hairs. You're just jealous. I ain't spoiled. G, you my girl. <laughs> Holy shit. Trump is just crazy. You can't beat the system. You can't beat the system. But you know what? The system's always designed for you to lose. And I said this before. I think it's horrible, man, that we live in a country where we're going to take a former president and try to send him to jail, man, in all different jurisdictions, right? Well, he's not above the law. Look, man, these people have been doing bullshit for a long time. To sit down with Jeff Nandu in the house, 9.99. Damn, Jeff, I said something about you on a live about a month and a half ago, and one of my friends quit talking to me, man. He don't want to talk to me no more. But it's all right. Friends like that, who needs enemies, right? Huh? 
and my friend might be watching. Like, damn, bro, we were buddies, man. You did me dirty, man, but it's all right. I still care about you, bro. You too, Jeff. Joe Biden is guilty. Chad, you're the man. Once in a while, not all the time. I'm moving to the to the desert. Get away from the shit show. <laughs> Trump didn't even break the law. That's what these people didn't realize. I used to do appraisals. You can't get a loan from a bank without an appraisal. They're trying to cause the anchor is not bowing down to their narrative. What happens if Trump becomes the president, though, right? Does he start firing back? Does he strap on the brrrr and start lighting these people up? I think that I think he does. What about, you know, I mean, I don't, there's certain things we're probably not allowed to talk about over here. But the whole Iran thing yesterday with Israel, I told my mom, I said, you know, watch something bad's going to happen in April. I told, her that, I told her that in January. I said, give it a little time. It's percolating. Things are percolating. Whether you see it or not, it's percolating, man. Everything's bad everywhere, right? Chicago, nine-year-old girl killed and 10 others were injured in a shooting Saturday evening. Absolutely wild, man. Nine-year-old little girls shouldn't be dying in the street, man. Right? Nine-year-old little girls shouldn't be dying in the street. I don't think we should be trying to send our former president to jail. You know, we didn't send Hillary to jail. We didn't send uh, so many other people to jail that are Repu on both sides out, Republicans and Democrats. Now, of course, you can't blatantly go out and just start popping people and, you know, doing wild shit. But these people have been committing crimes all their lives. I think he wins the presidency. I think that it's a possibility that he does. And I think a lot of it has to do with Joe Biden not being able to really talk. Right. I'm trying to read the comments and talk to you guys at the same time. Um. Chad, Chicago was out of control, and I know you're living there. Let's take a look at this. We'll get back to Trump in a minute, all right? Like, we're going to talk about Trump a little bit tonight, too. I'll give you guys some inside scoop on old, the Trumpster, all right? I watched that movie Civil War last night. Damn, David, I can't believe it. Me and my wife went to that movie last night at 9 o'clock at night. My mother came, watched the kids. Um, and with it, I get up at 4, 4.30 in the morning, man, straight up, right? My kids are sick. I'm a little bit sick. My wife was sick. She got over it. The white Denzel with the $10 piece. Okay, Arthur, big art with the $2 piece. We appreciate you tonight. So we're in there watching the Civil War. We're going to get back to this. I want to talk about the Chicago thing, but 10 minutes in, I was like, boom, my wife hits me. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm good. I'm watching it. And it was a lot of, you know, gunplay in that movie, right? So every time you think you're about to doze off, you're, bah, 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 you're like, whoa, and you're back up. So, you know, I watched that. And <laughs> who, do you think, who do you think that movie was about? If anybody's seen Civil War, I went and seen that last night. It's crazy, man. He's going to win the land side, but they might start World War so that he can't get elected. Who? A nine-year-old girl was killed and 10 others were injured. We're getting back to Trump in the Civil War. Uh, movie. The movie, YouTube. The movie. Don't block us. We're talking about the effing movie. All right? Please take lips some vitamin C every day. You will never be sick. Okay. Chad, I've been watching you for a year. Watching you for a while. I've been sober almost a year, and your videos help pass a lot of time. I'm glad that they helped, man. Flip mode, we'll get back to you in a minute. Nine-year-old girl was killed and 10 others were injured in a shooting Saturday evening in Chicago's new city neighborhood. Police and the girl's father said Sunday Chicago Police Department officers responded to West 52nd Street and South Damon Avenue after an alert on shot spotter. A network of – you guys know what shot spotters are? We got them all over the city of Rochester, man. But, you know, Ariana Molina 9 died from a gunshot wound to the head, man. Why do we live in a society where nine-year-olds get popped in the head, man? We're all the fathers, man. We're all the real leaders, man. Running around killing each other for nothing. We did that documentary on that weed dispensary the other day, man. Yo, we about to get that bag, son. You heard? You heard? Yeah, we about to get that bag, you heard? There's like eight million over there, son. About to run up in that joint. These dudes are sitting around talking about the jokes. Eight million. Man, you got no eight million sitting in a warehouse over there, man, that they're selling marijuana from, huh? I got to change up the accent because I don't know if YouTube will bang us for the M word. Now, marijuana. I don't know. Um, But, man, they're not, like, notifying people. Man, you're doing a bunch of bullshit over here. But it, it's all right. We do it because we want to, right? Reentry House getting started, man. We got the paralegal business. We're doing all right. You know what I'm saying? Um, Not making a boatload of money on YouTube. If we were, I told you guys a long time ago, man, I'd look out. But, man, we're living in a world where nine-year-olds are getting popped. You go to Philly. The, the end of Ramadan, man, they're out there letting loose. It was like, yo, we're catching the jooks over there, yo, from Yonkers, yo, we're going to, to, from the Bronx, we're going to go to the Yonkers. And, and, man, all you got was a life sentence, homie. All you got was the death penalty, homie. That's what you got, man. Shut up, I've been watching you for a while. I've been sober. Okay, you get back. I, I read that probably in South Chicago. 
Darth, keep it respectful so YouTube don't ding us. Yeah. Every time I see an ad for that movie, I still just think Gettysburg and shit. One kid was one year old, man. Two other kids. Yeah, they had that other mass stabbing. We're in Australia or something. Like, come on, man. Everybody thinks they got the best plan, right? Bro, I believe most of these massive S's are planned by the left because they want to take our Second Amendment. I'm not going to go that far, big fella. I'm not going to go that far, man, and say that they want to take our Second Amendment. I'm not going to do that. I believe that they do want to strip people of their Second Amendment rights. But I don't know if they're, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're, like, sending people out there. And, you get, man, I'll tell you what, you come up to me and be like, hey, man, look, man, we're the Democrats or we're the Republicans. And we want you to jump off this bridge. Jump off the Mom, what, you crazy? Oh, shit, Diddy's here. No, oh, man, it ain't Diddy, man, sorry. I wanted to make sure I had my pants on. I'm just joking. 200 here and 60 likes. Hit that like button, man. I guess it helps us. Who knows? And I don't know if there's much more we can do. I think we put out good content. I think the thumbnails are good. Um, I might stutter step once in a while, man, when I'm doing the readings. But I write a lot of them stories myself. Who knows, man? Maybe one day we'll just be like, be like yo, we got you today. YouTube's got you, player. They do that. Maybe they know we're going to look out for people. They don't want us to make no bread, man. Big David with the 50-piece tonight. It's crazy. We're going to start learning some stuff. Yo, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to take this class at Apple, man. I promise you. If I take that class at Apple and can learn to do some of this other stuff, I'm very computer illiterate, technology illiterate, man. But I'm getting better, man. Justin Adams says, we are the best prison channel out. Thank you, brother. We're going to switch it up with best prison and true crime. I got a real good true crime documentary I want to put together. Maybe they'll monetize it. Who knows? If they don't monetize it, they don't push it. And if they don't push it, we don't get views, man. Jose Molina said his daughter died from a gunshot wound to the head after being transported to a nearby hospital. They talk about front yard and a family confirmation. We're about to cut the cake when shots were fired. He said he found his daughter lying in the grass. Police reports gave the girls ages eight. So I guess as a father, there ain't much he could do, right? But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're out there, you know, at this little party or whatever, especially in Chicago, man, man, had that joint in the backyard. Don't let kids go to the front. Ain't that sad when your kids can't even go in their front yard? I remember growing up, man, we lived in a bad neighborhood, right? And I remember Pete growing up over there in Rochester, West Side. I'm from Ghost Town. Those of you that are from that area. I remember growing up over there, man, and we'd see people fighting. Hey, man, your boy losing that weight, man. I'm in the teens now. Player, I'm in the teens. Um, We got to get down to that fight weight, boy. They're looking for one. They, they're looking for I'm, I'm coming. You think I'm not? I haven't answered a couple of your calls, but I'm coming. I promise. Um, I miss it, man. I miss the fight game, man. Especially since I knew Dinky. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Always been and always will be conflicts, clashes, and turmoil. Makes the world turn. Yeah, but not like it is now, right? Not like it is now. Or maybe because we didn't have such you know, wide media news. We didn't hear about all the things. Things are off the chain, man. I remember as a kid, man, dudes in my neighborhood, they'd be out there fighting. A lot of times it was the Puerto Ricans, man. They were out there fighting with chains and poles, and people were getting hit with baseball bats. Now these dudes are out here just blasting nine-year-olds, man. Recklessly shooting, man. Don't even know what you're doing. Probably all turned like, like how they used to be in the movies. Brace yourself, fool. Like, what? Shooting like this. Nine-year-old kids are getting are dying, man. How sad. Nine-year-old little girl. How sad, man. She's out there. Who, who expects that? Man, it hurts my heart, man. That hurts my heart. What can the fathers do? What man had them parties in the backyard, player? Protect yourself with the building, with the house, if you can. You know what I mean? Work two jobs, man. Get out of that neighborhood, man. It's Chad, time to put you on my legal team. I sent you an email, but I needed, but I needed legal email. All right, I'll send you something, Matthew. I remember back in the day when Giuliani cleaned up New York. It all starts at the top. Yeah, but because we're a prison channel, right? And I had talked a little bit about, you know, Cassie telling on Diddy and stuff like that. But man, when you live a law-abiding life, man, I mean, I don't know, bro. Some people get mad because I'm like, yo, man, they need to go in there and clean that shit up, man. You got to clean that shit up. Chad, I lost a son on the west side in Chicago in 2009. I won my trial judge order 52 years at 100% to his killer. It's crazy, man. The twins are doing well. Well, not really. They're sick. They're wrestling. They're being potty trained. Shit is wild. But, man, when we got a nine-year-old little girl dying, man, it's bad news, right? We got some... According to Chicago police, a one-year-old boy and eight-year-old boy were each shot multiple times in the abdomen. One-year-old boy, man? Are you kidding me? Where's this kid going, man? Where are the parents at? Where's your son going in life, man? They saved him. He's alive, man. Thank God. Eight-year-old little boy. What does that do to him mentally, man? Damn, man. 
That's why when I write, that's not me farting. It's my chair. But I did buy a new chair. I'm going to put it together tonight. I'm putting my chair together tonight. It's red and black. Matches the back. You know, like those in the act with Fat Joe. How how that song? Not Fat Joe. It was a big pun. I got a Mac in the back of the act. and a, What? Chad, what are you doing? Man? Hey, we do it all, brother. We start singing country music up in this joint, too. Luke Combs, right? Fast car. I can't. I ain't got the beat, man. But I like that fast car song. But back to the crazy things that are going on in the world, right? Are we allowed to talk about Israel? I don't know, man. And for those of you that don't know, I'm not a Bible thumper, but I believe in Christ, man. I go to church. I'm actively involved in the church, too, man. What we need is jelly roll on the show. I know that, man. We're trying to get jelly, man. Man, helps a lot of felons out. But anyway, um, just all the stuff, man, like, you know, if God's real, man, maybe all this stuff really is happening. If he's real, he, he, you know, he said this is the type of stuff that's going to happen. Looks like it's happening, right? And old Joe Biden, he's like, well, da, 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 ba, da, ba, do, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, we're not going to help Israel. No, no, no. It's like a puppet, man. That man can't even talk sometimes, man. Ain't that crazy? Hit that like button if you have it, man. Again, appreciate everybody donating tonight, man. I see that 50 piece on there. I see the $2 piece on there. I see the $10 pieces. Appreciate everybody, man. Dang, Chad, you want some caffeine? You buzzing. Man, I'm feeling, you know, I was feeling sick, man. I've been in the house all day. I'm, Dude, even on Sundays, I get up and work, man, 4.35 in the morning. Then, you know, when my wife gets up, take care of the kids, we go to church. I call it a day, spend the time with the family. Today, I did not work, man. Did you see Biden say Oyster Bunny? <laughs> man, Biden's shot, man. You know, that's a, one thing about Trump, right? A lot of shit that he did, a lot of things that he said. Some people might get mad. I, didn't, I, I don't like a lot of things that he said and did. I don't really know, man, if how dangerous he is for the country. Would he, you know, would he react? And then there's negative consequences. But he's like, yo, man, hit it. Boom. Send them boys over. Remember he dropped that big banger over there? And what was it? Siri? I was in jail when it happened. How does Lion Jessica can't have over a million subscribers? She only spent around a year in prison and makes up shit. Listen, bro, that's 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 how you get it on YouTube, man. You gotta you gotta spend a year and a day in jail or somewhere in that area, and you have to tell some bullshit. You have to tell some bullshit, man. And then they push you. I talked to the lady at YouTube. I said, look, man, this is how I see it. I see you got guys all the way at the top. You, you make these people. You got guys in the middle like myself. And then you got guys in the bottom. That no matter how good they are, they're always going to stay in the basement. And then the guys in the middle, no matter how good you are, no matter what kind of content you put out, you're always going to be in the middle. But it's good that we're not just doing this for money. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just a money thing, man. You know, I'm going to read you guys something from someone. I don't know if, I, if he's here, man, if he'll give me permission. This is why we do this shit, man, right? Because we need we need a community, man. We need a real community, man. So let's see. Let's see what my boy. I'm just going to call him Chris tonight, right? He says, it's amazing what we can do when we set our minds to it. Just hold on. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate your inspiration, your friendship. I see you becoming the change, so I changed myself too. You helped save my life, bro. Whether you know it or not, and I don't give that credit out easily. This is a dude, man, that was caught up, man got his life together, got his own business. I'm not saying I'm the only motivating factor in his life, but maybe it's the channel. Maybe it's someone that made a comment. Maybe it's, you know, all of us coming together, man, that says, hey, man, you know what? I do want to change my life. Maybe be saying, yo, be a father to your son, man. Be a father to your daughter today. Tell your mother that you love her, man. Show her by example. Or maybe it's one of them videos where we say, yo, bro, these dudes are going to get 8 million or nothing, right? All young dudes, man, think they, you know, you're about that life. You know what I'm saying? I told you, look, man, I'm from New York. I know how this shit goes, man. You're sitting around like, yo, and, and I mean it, how I'm talking. That's really what it like, yo, what up, son? You already know what it is, son. I'm about to grab that bag, you heard? Come on, man. It's ignorant talk, man. Let me tell you something I think is really ignorant. Some people might get mad. What is that shit, man? I got a TikTok today from someone like a hundred times. I think there was a glitch on TikTok, and that's the reason why I got it. But at first, I didn't think that, and I was pissed off, right? When are they going to get Diddy? <laughs> I think it's coming, man. Um, okay, I just read the thing about the Taliban and the Trump house, and that's crazy. Um, so anyway, maybe it's that video where you know we're telling dudes like, Yo, you think you're gonna go catch this jukes, right? You're about to come up and get that bag, and tonight you're not getting the bag. In fact, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. Maybe it was that video that made someone the other day, and maybe we never hear from that person. Maybe it was that, that, that video that dude was like, Man, you know what, man, I'm good on this, bro. And then they go catch the jokes. You know, I knew someone about six months ago, man. They were going to make a move, right? And dude was like, man, I really don't want to do it, man. And he didn't do it. He said, man, I got this other life over here, and it's a struggle, bro. It ain't working out. This is my struggle right here. 
But you know what? I'm going to stick out the struggle because I don't ever want to go back to jail, Chad. And he didn't go on the jokes, right? And these dudes did come up. They might have caught five or six bricks. You never know what they did. But he made the right decision that night. It might not seem like it now because he's struggling. But if the business that he started starts doing big things, guess what? It's worth every moment. Had he went on that jukes that night, maybe he might have taken someone's life and had 25 to life at 45 years old and never getting out. And you know what, man? Some people, and, and you know, some people, I'm trying to read some of the comments. Some people don't always see it that way. But I'm going to tell you, like, when people are, oh, man, Chad, you know you did. What was my motivating factor to try to do the right thing out here? My motivating factor, you want the truth? I'm going to give you the truth tonight. You like prison content? I'm going to give you the truth. This is what it is, man. And eventually it became other things too, and we'll talk about that tonight too, right? Because if you got someone that you love in jail, man, they're getting out, support them. Being in prison, seeing the violence that i seen, experiencing the violence that I experienced, doing things that I'm not proud of doing in prison that hurt my feelings, but I wouldn't show it, man. I wouldn't show it on my face. I wouldn't tell anyone, man. I wouldn't tell anyone like, yo, man, we did this and we did that. And I feel bad about what we did, bro. When we get to the hole and I'm like, damn, homie, we did that to that old man for no reason, man. I didn't tell him that. I put that, that tough guy face on, right? Like, yo, it's all good, bro. It's prison politics. But that's the shit that made me not never want to go back to prison, man. That's the thing that said, yo, there ain't nothing out here in the world worth me going back, right? Nothing. Nothing in the world worth me going back to prison, right? And Damon Iris, I'm going to get to that in a minute too, right? I'm going to pin this if I can just for a minute. Uh, it's not letting me pin it. But anyway, oh, there it is. So he said my relationship with my kids. You know what? And then after I had my kids, it was also my relationship with my kids, man. And the one thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to. The other thing I don't want to do is I don't want to be a disappointment, man. I don't want to fail, man. People believed in me. The judge believed in me and let me out of jail. I don't want to fail, man. Who wants to fail? No one wants to fail in anything in life. But it was the violence, man. It was the violence, man. Do you know what it's like to see someone get stabbed? Do you know what it's like to be stabbed? For real, man. You mess with a dude, man. You think dude's all right, man. Good dude. Next thing you know, I got a little crypto too. Our Silva, man. I'm glad that you're doing well. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're on the right path. It was the violence, man. When you see someone get hit, man, someone that you kick it with, and you're like, man, dude's all right, dude. And really, man, there's so many dudes in federal prison. They just make up shit to do to you, man. They just make it up. I told a story before about a dude, man. They went in there and they brutalized him. You heard some of the people talk about it in our interviews. Dog talked about it. Shorty talked about it. You hear dudes screaming through the vent, man. They made up a story on this dude, man. Certain gang, white gang, right? White gang taking advantage of white dude. They wanted this shit, man. So let's make up a story, man, and go up there and hit him up. Let's go up there and try to take his life from him. That's what we're going to do so we can steal his, his wham whams and zoom zooms and books of stamps. Yeah, he's got about $500 worth of shit. Let's go take it, man. And then what? You end up killing a dude. You go to the hole because they catch you immediately pretty much in federal prison. 99.9% of a few people have gotten away with a few things like the, the white dude that was murdered in the cell in Atlanta. They haven't really got them dudes, right? Um. And sometimes they just don't prosecute people, man. Sometimes they don't prosecute you. You already got life. They send an ADX for five, six, seven, eight years. You're like, man, prosecute them for what? And then you're back on the compound in Hazleton. Like, what? Are you serious? They're putting another dude in the cell with you nine, ten years later. You might be the dude with three years going in the cell with the dude that ripped the Native American dude's stomach out while he was sleeping. That might be you. That's just silly. Taxes make us struggle. If you need to want a little help with overlays and a few things with your live stream, I'm willing to help with OBS and Streamlabs, not Crack TV. Can you shoot me an email, bro, and I can holler at you tomorrow? Chad, have you, yes, of course I read Bill Cooper's book, man, many times. Behold a pale horse, right? Yeah, I've read it. You know, I wish I, I, I kind of like the politics stuff, right? Which maybe we, man, I, I don't know. I think we're putting another channel together right now, True Crime Channel. What do you guys think? Might be similar to Killer Chronicles. I know some of you guys enjoy that. I've been talking about it for a long time. I got the layout. Everything's done. The intro's done. Probably going to do something. Like you guys, I hope you guys go over there and subscribe. You know what I mean? Youngstown on the compound. Okay, Big Chris. There's a sickness in the violence without glory. Do you have a Discord? We do have a Discord, but I don't really go on it much, man. 
but other people go on it all the time, I, I think. Second channel idea is awesome. We need everybody to go over there and check out that second channel once it's up and popping. Support it. If you like what we're doing, support it. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what stops you from wanting to go back to prison. The violence, man. Seeing someone get hit and they're yelling and they're screaming. And if you have any type of compassion, man, so many dudes are involved in this crazy-ass violence, right? What's up with your channel name? I don't know, man. The lady said it doesn't affect me. The first word up there. Don't affect me. Then we'd have to get approved again if we changed it, all kinds of stuff. Irish blood forever. Okay. What's up, Chad? Watching from North Carolina. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you tuning in. Bam, will you please put up the Discord? There's the not crack. There's the Discord for those of you who want to check it out. Talk about Iran retaliating on Israel. We talked a little bit about that. He might be behind right now. But anyway, yeah, man, if, if you have if you have no no compassion, like you see. Yo, this is the one thing that drives me absolutely nuts, man. You see this stuff on these channels, right? People are putting up these, these videos of these dudes just brutalizing dudes in prison, tying them up, beating on them. You know, even, even when we were in the street doing stuff, man, there comes a point where enough is enough, right? Like, it's, it's over, man. You got it, man. You won, man. They still got the dude tied up, kicking him in the face, punching him, jumping on him. And it's every race, man. Black dudes victimizing black dudes. White dudes victimizing white dudes. Mexicans victimizing Mexicans. Latinos victimizing Latinos. It's it's everywhere, man. It's it's absolutely crazy, man. Don't you feel bad for people when you see that? Or do you think, oh, man, he's a felon? But the most common thing is, oh, you must have been a Cho. You might have been a Chomosky. He's a Chosky. No, maybe he's not. The one dude, someone brought him into a gang. He was a crip, alleged crip, but the dude that brought him home was messed up. So. They got him in prison, tattooed stuff on his forehead, beating on him. Like, come on, man. That's somebody's son, man. That's some kid's father, man. That shit bothers me, man, like you wouldn't believe. And I do. And I do, Jay Williams, so on what he posted a video about him. Um, when I see that stuff, man, it bothers me, man. It hurts me inside. You know what I mean? When a single cell is priority, there's certain steps that have to be taken to achieve the Go status in your double bunk cell. Selly, beware. Jay's looking haggard as hell in jail. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay. So, you know, anyway, man, wild world we live in, man. Prison world. Dudes are escaped. Like, we can do videos on this shit every day, right? There's things that are happening every day. Another dude just escaped on the run. <laughs> Dudes in my city last night. Wow. How about this one? Man who spent 35 years in prison walks free after using myth, myth busters to prove his innocence. That's a hell of a story, ain't it? I'm going to have to read it. We might not do a story on it, but I'm going to have to read it. I thought the 60 day in sheriff thing was kind of interesting. One of the brothers sent it to me, say, hey, Chad, do a story on this. We did it. You guys got stories and ideas you want? Send them. We're going to do a story on an informant, right? It's a documentary, informant. Um, ends up working with the police. The police mess up. Informant ends up what? <laughs> bung, bung, bung. Have a nice dream. Kind of like Biggie said. The informant's gone. You know, so, man, this wild, wild world of the criminal justice system and how they do things. And it's wild, man. People are putting their lives on the line, man. You got caught with a little bit of, little bit of smoke. And now you, you're out here trying to smoke other people and somebody smokes you in the process. Tell me that ain't crazy, man. Police can't always save you. When you're in this world, they can't always save you. This is a dangerous world, man. Dangerous. What do you guys think, man? Any questions tonight? Any questions about prison? What do you want to ask about? Should I start doing my own stories, man? All my experiences? Should we start doing that? That's what I want to know. Any questions tonight? Joel, are you a convicted felon? If you are, the feds might pick up your gun charge. Good possibility if you have a gun charge and you have a prior felony, that's a very good possibility that they could do that. What about the mass, the, the mass stabbing over there? Where was that? Where was that at? Anybody see that? Hell yeah, on your stories, probably going to start doing some of that. Minimum five, usually in that area. Personal stories are always great to listen to. What about the lives? You guys like when we do the lives? Should we do one live a week, two lives a week? What do you guys think? It's not my channel. It's our channel. Let's talk about it. In Sydney, man. 
Little kids, man. Brutalized over there too, right? Let me see this, man. Let's check this out, man. This is going on everywhere, man. Man, Stan. I've already got my 24 months, okay? Joel Cucci, who was the Queensland man who carried out the Bondi six dead and mass stabbing at Sydney Shopping Center? Man, you can't even go shopping nowadays, man. Can't even go shopping these days, man. Unbelievable. You can change your thumbnail with one click. That's my boy right there, man. Oh, that's the solo layout. I don't know how to do it from here, but I'm going to change it after. Don't we have a few people in here from Australia? We do, man. Love the lives, bro. Okay. I'm on StreamYard, man. MD, I'm on StreamYard, brother. That's my boy Ali right there. Ali, I see you just sent it, right? I had one made, and I see my boy Ali made one. Ali, send me an email. Tell me how to do it right now while I'm streaming. Thank you, brother. I thought you were asleep. Let's see. Yeah, see, I'm still learning, but now I'm going to start really doing this YouTube stuff a little bit. I want to do it, man. So I'm going to take that class. We're going to get this thing going because if I can do my own little edit on my videos, like take this out, add this in, boom, 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 then we'll be all right. I told you guys a long time ago, the reason uh, what happened to Stevie from my book, I think he's in the cadre program. He was in the cadre program at Lewisburg hiding out. Man, I don't know. Chad, what happened to Stevie from your book? Blown, so that's why the crime. So what's the crime like down there? Crime is crime is crime. And this is a vicious crime, right? I think, I think whatever name is bad. Is anything as bad as the U.S.? How about the Vietnamese chick, right? Fraud case. They're like, yo, you know what? Hit her with the penalty, the ultimate penalty, right? She's convicted of fraud. They're going to put her lights out, man. Chad, love you, bro. No, Oh, no home. Oh, okay. Well, we love you back, bro. No homo. Not every day someone goes, wow, with a knife. No, not every day. It's okay, Ali. I know the electricity is not good there in your country. My brother right here lives in Bangladesh. He helps me out with thumbnails and stuff right here. Does a lot of my shorts for me. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you no matter what. Pie Layton. Pie husband, Chef Sadiq, can't wait to come there to cook something for you, not the sucky way, the top chef way. Okay. What you cooking? You know, I cooked, I did a couple prison cooking shows on here before. I was the chef up north. Never got left up north. Chad, why are you talking like this, man? We thought you listened to country music, son. I do listen to country music. I like country music, man. Matter of fact, my boy's coming this week, man. Ooh, Luke Combs. I like old Luke Combs, man. One of the best concerts I've ever been to in my life, Luke Combs. So anyway, man, you know, we've been here a little bit. We ain't been here a whole lot of time, but let's talk a little bit about Trump, man. Let's talk about Trump. Let's talk about some of, without people thinking, oh, you're a Trump lover. I hate you because someone told me they were deleting us because I talk good about Trump, right? They're like, I'm going to unsubscribe you, mf -er. I'm like, all right, see ya. <coughs> um... And I say this all the time, man. I don't like a lot of shit that Trump does, a lot of things that he says. But I'm out of prison because of the first step back. I've been able to get a lot of people out of prison because of the first step back. Some people might not know this, but Trump changed the trajectory of my life in more than one way. More than just releasing me from prison. But by doing that first step back, he opened a door for me to figure something out. I figured it out. And I've been able to help numerous people get out of jail. And it's also provided me financial stability. It also has provided me, and I help people for free too. People call me, ain't got no money, I hope. Oh, yeah, I did see the Chinese chick get slapped. I saw a couple of them highlights. I didn't, bro, I went to that movie, and, I, man, it's hard for me to watch UFC, man, on the East Coast because the main fights happen at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Your boy's up at 4. I can't do it. But, you know, sometimes we catch them on a rerun. Could really use a mean tweet about now, Trump 24 all day. What are our, what are our choices, though, right? Like Ron DeSantis? No way. Hell no. Joe Biden? Whoa. Kamala Harris locking up dudes for life sentences when she was a prosecutor for weed? No, not you, Kamala. Man, you got to see through the bullshit, man. 
Trump, are you going to come here and start some serious shit and get us all jammed up? Whoa. You never know. You never know what these people are going to do, man. You never know. But I know one thing, I wouldn't be out of jail if Trump didn't pass that first step back. Hillary probably done some criminal justice reform, but she wouldn't have helped people like me. People would stack 924 C's. No. They'll go in there and do what Biden's doing. We're going to let out all the marijuana offenders that got caught with one ounce. Dude, no one's in federal prison for getting caught with one ounce. Gordon, yo, bro, what's up? Gordon needs to come on the channel. How many people, this dude is a dude, this is a real prison story with Gordon, man. If I can get Gordon on here, um, and another dude that came on, did an interview, told about an incident, man, it probably wasn't all the way truthful. Gordon was one of the people that's got the shot. He was involved. But Gordon was a dude that really put in work, man. Gordon was a dude that went through the trials and tribulations of federal prison. The trials and tribulations of going in there and having to become an animal, man. And then, you know, eventually getting out and struggling, but turning his life around and staying sober. Not easy, right? Staying sober is not easy. His brother's out here doing it, man. It's a struggle every day. It's a fight every day. And me and his brother have talked on numerous occasions where, you know, he struggled a little bit. He's got my number, man. That's my boy, man. He's got my number, man. Very close with Adam Oliveri at one time. You know, he lived that prison life, man. Yeah, big shout out to Gordon today, man, who struggles, man, at times. But don't we all? Don't think there wasn't times when I got out of jail and I broke down. Right here in this little cell right here, in this in my little uh, office, my little room. Some people are like, damn, bro, are you all right? Maybe I would give you a tour of my house, but my wife would probably kill me. Um, But no, nah, this is just my little office. This is where I feel comfortable, man. It's about the size of those of you who have been in federal prison. It's probably a little bit smaller than a handicap cell. <clears throat> a little bit smaller than that big cell, but I feel safe here, man. I feel okay here, man. We need to start at our borders. Next thing we know, USA has Canadians over here. Whoa, are you a Canadian? <laughs> Canada, man. You go to Canada. It was nice and clean back in the day when I was a kid. What's up, Chad? Greeting from your favorite place in the world, Youngstown, Ohio. Can I get a book? Rico Rose, email me. I'm going to give you a book tonight, man. Um, In the next week or two, we're looking at the shirts, trying to get these shirts done. <clears throat> I had a brother reach out to me. I should have got back to him. Just been so busy, man. So, so busy. Still got a mean little cough once in a while, too. I started to wonder if I'm allergic to that Armani, uh, Armani cologne, man. And it ain't the one from the corner store either. Or the one from prison. Our country was safe with Trump. Now we are laughed at. I do think people laugh at us a little bit. I do think people think, ah, they ain't going to do shit. Are they dangerous? The U.S. could be extremely dangerous at the drop of a dime. But the real question is, would they do it? I think people think that. Would they really do it under this administration? Look, man, I don't want to die just like you don't want to die. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want to live on our knees either. To come, I mean, I'd rather go than have to stick around here and be mistreated and beat and brutalized. And, you know, people throughout history have been beaten, brutalized and all over the place. In this country, you know, in other countries, just for their religion or their race. I mean, you don't you don't want to live like that. Trust me. You let one of them uh, Chinese MFers get a hold of this country and see what they do to us. You think shit's bad now, huh? Them boys won't be talking about catching no jooks because they will be the jooks. My wife is Japanese. Japan is like a dream. Kills me to say that because I grew up loving this country. <laughs> when elections are done, do you think the government will still pay for all the housing and food and clothing of the new arrivals? I mean, if Trump's in there, probably not. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you guys this too because I don't want you to think, hey, Chad's a hardcore, he's like a hardcore Republican and he's a, or some people might think I'm a, Bleeding heart liberal, certain things, man. I just, man, I believe in humanity, man. Andrew, I see you, man. Thank you for showing up. Thank you. Appreciate you being in here. Damn, man, what the hell was that? Skeeter? Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, some stuff I don't uh, agree with, man. Like, you know, that little girl, man, and I know they put a lot of stuff out in the media, but it was real, man. She couldn't find her mom. Her mom gets arrested. She's like, hey, I got a number in my pocket for my aunt somewhere little nine-year-old girl. Some people do want a better life. Everybody that ever came to this country, they wanted a better life, right? Most people back in the day, people that immigrated here, man, they, they didn't have a problem going to work and, you know, figuring it out and wanting to have a better life and a better family and better schools for their kids, man. I don't see nothing wrong with that. And when you're living in a country like, you know, back in the day, you know, not, not too far long ago, sad in that house. These days, everyone's either a diehard Republican or diehard Democrat. It's better to be independent than follow the party. 
Um, there's, you know, what if you were in El Salvador, man? People are, you got a little fruit stand and the MS is coming over here taking your shit, beating on you. You know, they murked your uncle and your cousin and your brother. You're like, yo, I'm about to get up out of here. They don't care about kids. None of that shit, man. I'd be, I'd be trying to go to the U.S. too. Canada, I'm trying to go somewhere where I'm going to be okay, man. Some people would just be happy getting a, a job, man. Just want a job, man. Just want a job and food to eat, man. I'd be able to take care of my family. We need to be watching Iran. I believe so, too. Pi, just email me. Humanity is the first thing, but open borders is crazy. Venezuela said they will not accept any of them back. Crazy times. Biden doesn't know where he's at. I think Biden is a little bit. Look, man, if you don't think that man's got Alzheimer's, and I'm not like, oh, I hate Biden. Man, I think the dude's got some issues, man. Dude's got some issues. You think he know? Definitely got some issues, man. My grandfather waited 12 years to come to this country the right way. I respect it, bro. I respect it 100%. But what about them kids and them parents that are being oppressed, right? And they, they can't stay in a country because if they did where they're at, they might not make it 12 months. I don't think we just let people come over here for a free-for-all either. I don't believe that either. You want to come over here? You want to work? You want to, you know, look? Build your education. You want to have a better life, man. It's the land opportunity, they say, right? Is it really? I don't know. King Kong, man, we appreciate the $2.99, man. Don't worry about it, man. Even if it was 99 cents, we appreciate you. We know you care about us, man. Thank you for doing that. I, I work in dementia. Biden has. I believe he does, man. Hey, Chad, hope you're well. Much love from Buenos Aires. Okay. Anybody ever been to Aruba? Would love to go to Aruba. What would Aruba be like, man, if the Chadster was in Aruba? Will I still do videos? Would I put my phone down? Would I leave my phone at home? I don't know. I need to go somewhere nice, man. I need a break, man. And I need to leave my kids. I need a vacation. I need to leave them with my parents or family, right? Sometimes you need a... Matthew said he went once to Aruba. So anyway, man, listen. We, You know, I want to start doing a live. Maybe we'll do two a week. We'll have um maybe Sunday nights, Wednesday nights. Videos, Tuesdays, Thursdays, documentary. Tuesdays, Thursdays, maybe interviews. Monday nights, you know, documentaries. I just don't know if they, Chad, go to Ireland. We're going to Ireland, bro. I promise you, I got to get my funds up, but I'm going. I'm definitely, we're definitely going to Ireland. Maybe next year, man. Start stacking a couple dollars here and there when I can. What up, Chad, dog? What's up, Blaze? Just saw a vid house. Seven pound roast was damn near a hundred bucks. Holy shit. Where in Aruba? I guess I ain't going. Or I might buy one seven-pound roast and eat a pound a day. That's it. And grass. I'm not worried about hardworking families migrating here, but when this country is being flooded with Chinese military-aged males and you have Chinese nationals holding office in California, it's too much. DJ, I respect your opinion, bro. I read an essay about the difference between character and reputation. They use Biden as an example. He plagiarized a speech back in the day as a senator. Dylan, just send me an email. We'll get you an e. We'll get you an ebook. Irish woman here also, Chad. Okay, big shout out to Kathy. Let the Irish blood run flow. May your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through the door. You know that one? How many Irish people know that one? Twelve dollars for a gallon of milk in Aruba. They don't have land to grow. Biden does have some issues, but Trump is totally shitting on himself, bro. He wears diapers. He is no better than Biden, my dog. I don't know, bro. I don't know if Trump's shitting his pants. I can't believe that one, bro. I'd have to see it to believe it. Kind of like, man, I got to see that paperwork. I got to see that, man. Let's get a picture of Trump's ass. I mean, Trump, uh, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm just joking. I was told I wouldn't be allowed to enter Ireland because of my felony convictions. Could be wrong, but dude from there said it. Oh, I might not be able to go either, man. They might not want your boy over there, man. We might have to get a I think I'm gonna put in for a pardon, man. Put in for a presidential pardon. I know some people are about to get some. I'm not gonna mention their names, but they're, they're they've been to federal prison and they're about to get a pardon. It's in the works. It's about to happen. I do think Biden's gonna grant numerous, numerous clemencies. But anyway, listen, man, we've been out here for 45 minutes. I'm gonna go upstairs, help my wife put the boys to bed. Appreciate everybody being here, man. Look, hit me up on the email. You got some stories. You got some things you want us to do, um, things that you like. Let us know. 
Brother, you're always on the path of truth. This is my boy right here, Ali, 14-year-old genius, living over in Bangladesh in the struggle, man, taking care of his mama with a little bit of money that he earns. We take care of him every week, but he works for it, man. That's what's up. Anyway, Blood on a Razor Wire TV. Those of you that donated tonight, we appreciate you. Those that just came here, just to be here, we appreciate you, man. It's not my channel. It's our channel, man. Let's get it. Let's get it popping. Go out and share a video tonight, man. Appreciate everybody. Got some good stories coming up. Blood on the Razor Wire TV. Tell your kids that you love them tonight. Call your mother. Call your father, man. Let them know how important they are to you, man. And Dirty Harry says, I want my rights back. So do we. With respect until tomorrow, we're out of here.